Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village Arc, Episode 7, Awful Villain. Tell me about it. Get the little, <laughs> the little guy, the little... Oh, is he? Can he actually do it? Is he actually doing, doing it? He's actually doing it. What the heck? There's another one. Another emotion stemming from fear. Bullets! Quick! Because <laughs> gun technology hasn't really gotten that far yet. What the heck? Oh, I was like certain that Tanjiro's head got split in half for a second. I guess it was just the sound wave. Something a little bit different about hatred demon that I can put my finger on. Definitely got last boss vibes. Let's go sacrificing her limbs yet again. She's fine. She can do that. Already this one seems like he's way more interesting than his counterparts. Also, we're the villains. This surely knows how to up the stakes with the... The demons. Wait, what? What are they? They fuse or something? I too would like to know. Okay, yeah, it's, some, it's a hybrid. I'm trying to make something out of this. In danger of death, anger absorbed, joy, pleasure, and sorrow, sadness, to become hatred. I guess something to note is that anger is sort of a, like a reactionary physical response, whereas hatred is a lot more deliberate and calculating. Anger is something that gets triggered. Hatred is something that kind of festers. Hatred, I think, also often comes from a feeling of, of powerlessness or being beaten, not even necessarily by the person you hate, but kind of by life, like if you're stuck. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's something like something being solutionless and other people being avatars of that state, people who threaten you in fundamental ways in which you yourself can't understand how to proceed or get what you want or escape the situation or avoid a, a peril. For example, you hate things that expose a fatal flaw for which you yourself may not even be aware of, but don't know how to deal with or don't know how to confront a suggestion of some existential threat to your whole existence, which Tanjiro fits for them, and not just physically, but just philosophically, as the light to their darkness. And Tanjiro is the villain, huh? Yeah, what is up with that? <laughs> What's the deal with absorbing your fellow demons? I don't know why, but he's giving me, like, DBZ vibes. Maybe it's the... Saiyan armor. Mixed with some Majin Buu. What is this, like a inner body mutiny? Anger just taken over? Anger taken over from fear, coming ultimate hatred? I can like feel how that would be a lot more powerful. Man, they're just shook. No. Combined hatred demons seems a lot more philosophically inclined. Wow, I'm gonna stop you right there. Pot and kettle, etc. But yeah, weird but accurate emotional depiction. Hatred being a pretty powerful force for survival. He's protecting him, not absorbing him. その人たちが、お前に何をした。その全員が命を持って償わなければならないことをしたのか。大勢の人を殺してくっておいて。いや、いや、ちゃんとあんじゃろ。愛の首は俺が切る。ちょっとすごく不気味だね。いや、hatred <笑> So, sorts of things. Hatred places weird emotional sleight of hand, where the perceived transgressor deserves what happens to them, deserves the worst. Ethics and morality suspended, logic suspended. <laughs> I mean, not you personally, but you know.
we've been in this bubble, this water bubble for five episodes and also poisoned. It's not looking great. But Earn Demon is in, inspired for his art or whatever. <laughs> yes. Yes, you've made that abundantly clear. At least this demon's distracted. He's doing everyone a big favor by, you know, drowning so long. Got one attack. Make it a good one. Oh, that was underwhelming. Where's Love Hashira? I don't know. It's up to this point. It seems like the Hashira strategy be, seems to be divide and be conquered. They really don't work well as a team. I suspect that will be one of Tanjiro's contributions and a key point in, in turning the tides. They need like a bonding retreat or something. Some kind of camp? Fun camp? And he's visited by the ghost of Tanjiro's good heartedness. There's a little Tanjiro living on us all? Yeah, who the hell? What is going on? <laughs> you shall be art. They tried. They tried. An attempt was made. <laughs> now that's some dedication to one's work. <laughs> Two people who love artistry in the same shack. Can you even call yourself an artist then? <laughs> He's just unmoving. <laughs> Whatever. Must sword. Must sharpen sword. Um. Oh my god. He's good looking. Not sure why that was my reaction, but here we are. Because the art transcends the human. It's not about him, it's about creation. It's bigger than you. Speaking of hatred. Yeah, killing him wouldn't make him not be a better artist than you. Not the demon defeating arc I expected, but still awesome. I mean, he's got to be rescued, right? Or can he, like. I'd be really impressed if he could pull it out of him at this point. But we still have rescue options. It sounds like Tanjiro, even if you never said it. Did he just absorb Tanjiro's good essence? Yeah, but the thing is, like, it doesn't matter how great or strong any one person is. As you start adding people to a group, any comparative advantage one individual has decreases exponentially. I mean, that's partly why humans in their evolution sort of traded physical powers compared to our animal counterparts for, like, language and social intuition and skills. Because if you're a highly social animal in a community, it doesn't really matter how raw your physical strength is because it just takes two or three or, you know, maybe even ten, but not that many people to just make your physical strength completely irrelevant. That seems to be the story of the Hashira at a large degree, as I was saying. Tanjiro's got to be the one. But I can see this being really huge and key. You know, if Muichiro, Muichiro could understand this, join forces, he'd be a powerful ally. Aww. <laughs> Piercing doesn't seem to be working. It's gotta be another way. Love Ashura? Or some other, like, simple tactic. It's like a water bubble. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? Is it a demon or like a robot? Okay, this is not a friend. Oh no. Yeah, that looked really bad. Yeah, that that yeah, that didn't look survivable. We can drink it. Oh, give air. Whoa. I mean, this is... This, this, this is Tanjiro. This is Tanjiro. There you go. There you go. What, what an arc he's added in such a, like, short time. 
Huh, I wonder if they're related in some way. He finally got out half a season later. That does seem to be the way it's going to go. You know, we kind of came into the show in a world of pain and darkness. Everyone expecting to die or not expecting to live that long. All with their individual grudges and motivations. This season connecting it to a, a larger legacy, more of a standing on the pillars other people have built. Honoring the legacy of the past, Irwin Smith style thing. And that's in the vertical. There's also a horizontal, which is them being united in their efforts towards a common goal. Abs. And back abs. And you gotta be ready to endure backslashes while you're sharpening your blade. I'm sure you wouldn't mind using it on Tanjiro. The Moon Witcher, hell yeah, another Witcher episode now that he's outside of his bubble. But yeah, while Tanjiro is the protagonist, obviously, and gonna be the one to change the tides, I don't see him doing it alone. And it's really exciting to think about too, right? Like imagine all the Hashira coming together, being on the same page, fighting together. It seems that that's the way that the tides are shifting. And I suspect critical to that is going to be their adopting Tanjiro's sort of moral outlook, his views on self-sacrifice and living for others. <laughs> <laughs>